Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. And I'm pretty sure that when you looked at the title and saw Straight Razor Odyssey Part 1, you probably said, what in the heck's that all about? I'll give it a look. So, we'll go ahead and we'll see why this is the beginning of a Straight Razor's Odyssey. Got this hard plastic toothbrush case for travel. And I'm going to use, that's going to be part of the Odyssey. Here it is, guys. This is my Wade and Butcher, which my girlfriend found for me up in Big Bear, California. Or no. Yeah, Big Bear. It's got a nice square point with a barber's notch. Not sure of the ground what the hollow is to my knowledge this is a wade and butcher because it does have a wb where it looks like the w and the b kind of meet my girlfriend looked up stamping marks for wade and butcher and she said yep that's the one so it's got horn scales on both sides right here there's a crack there's a crack over here and it says on each scale, I believe here on each side, it says Frank Hall 1878, which makes this kind of a unique razor because that was obviously somebody who owned it in the past. Set that down. Anyways, the person, he's, he's respected in the wet shaving community from everything I've heard about him. Um, Christopher David Bailey has even spoke well of him. And um, I reached out to him. I said, hey, I got this weight and butcher. It needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be rehomed and have an edge put on it. And uh, the scales, they need to be fixed. They got some cracks in them. I thought they were wood. He told me, he said after he saw pictures, he said, no, those scales were horn. So he told me, he said, I'm going to go ahead. When I get the razor, I'll break it down. I'll go ahead and I'll polish up the metal on the underside of the scales. I'll go ahead and fill in the cracks on the horn scales with a horn with a horn and adhesive, horn powder mixed with an adhesive. Once that's done and that, that sets up, I'll go ahead and I'll soak the scales in, I forget what kind of oil he said, you know, put some light colored collars and new pins in it and um, get the blade all straightened out. Now, I did say there's a little bit of spin wear. Not sure exactly what that is. I got a pretty good idea, but I'm not a straight razor aficionado. So I could be stubbing my toe in the dark on that thought. But anyhow, so he's going to fix it up and get it back to me. And we'll do another video when I get it back here in a few weeks or however long it takes them to do it because I've never torn down a straight razor I imagine it's not a quick and easy job um, especially one of the age of that one so we'll see when we get it back what we get but it sounds like it's gonna be really really nice anyways y'all take it easy have a great day great night whenever you see this video and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now